Taurus. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Taurus Tarot reading. Taurus love tarot reading. Taurus love reading. And as is pretty much always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Taurus, oh, <laughs> Love messages reading channeled, love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Taurus, I want to show you the energy that is coming in here today. Wow, it's the lover's card and the four of wands. Whoa, Taurus, somebody loves you. You love this person too. Do you know who we're talking about? I think you probably do. It could be that it's someone that's surprising you. In any case, this is Gemini energy. It's also Venus energy and it's Archangel Raphael here to fix what is broken. It's coming here with the Four of Wands, Venus, more Venus energy, Venus and Aries energy. This is a reunion energy. It's a celebratory coming together energy. It's a connection with a soulmate. So whether you are seeing your person or you're just going to be talking to your person, they're definitely moving towards you. This much is really clear and it's a very celebratory energy you love each other is there a decision coming here could it have to do with marriage of course it's really really unclear at the moment so we're going to keep going twin flame energy is also here and i know not everybody is on a twin flame journey but it is here and it's coming together and they're preparing for something here so that's quite the energy to be coming in already so let's see what else is coming in here for you. Taurus, I'm channeling right on the cusp of March. I'm channeling in February 2024, but I think there's probably one day left. <laughs> and you could be here in real time. You could also be here, of course, Taurus, in March 2024. But you could be here many months, even years later. And that is because this is a timeless reading you are here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. It means there is a message here for you. So welcome again. I'm really glad you're here whenever you're here. <laughs> welcome. Let's see what's going on. Whoa, my gosh. So we saw the lover's card, the four of wands. Now we're seeing the magician in the wheel of fortune. Gemini, Virgo energy, Mercury energy, Wheel of Fortune, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, you're here, and Aquarius. There's a huge turning point here. This is somebody who's, this is your soulmate. This is your soulmate. They're seeing you as a soulmate, I'll tell you that. And they're manifesting you. And they're getting ready to turn their visions into reality. Those visions that they have been holding on to in the lover's cart. Now, if there's a chance for some of you to see this person, it could be that you already know there's an event they're going to be at, or maybe they might be at. It could also be if there's that potential to see each other that they just show up there. We need a lot more. But remember, it's not going to be in person for everybody. I know that. It's just not possible here in a YouTube reading. So let's dig in and see what else we're pulling out here. But I'll tell you, as above, so below. Getting very focused and taking some inspired action here. We saw that. Here in this Wheel of Fortune energy, fate and destiny. Controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. Well, this is a new start and this is some news either hearing it directly from your person, somebody else, or or via message, I want to say, that, yeah, this is them coming here. It's a deep soulmate connection. It's coming into your destiny, I feel. Destinies are intertwined. What does that mean for you? It might be something different for everyone, so let's dig in and see. But this, excuse me, this energy that's already coming in is pretty telling. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Taurus, all the playlists are linked below in the description. Of course, your zodiac readings. You'll also find all the zodiac signs, of course, as well as all signs, tarot readings. Those are love readings for the collective. And if you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long in depth twin flame readings below. So feel free to, yeah, check anything out. And let's look at this energy coming in. It's the full card and the Ace of Wands. This could just not be any clearer for me. Aquarius, 
Uranus energy coming here with the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy. This inspiration literally to come here and create what looks to be a conversation, a new beginning here. This full energy coming in is really ready to take this chance, hoping there is a chance for a new beginning. It's clean slate energy. You know, it's literally accessing that magician energy coming through and alchemizing everything that's gone on up till now and setting things up for the future. So learning from past mistakes, working things out, like not bringing it into the new start, into the renewal, into the a second chance for things to be even better. I like that for you a lot. I like this energy a lot. So let's see where else it's going. Remember, this is a general tarot reading. Five of swords in reverse. <laughs> it's like, where are you coming from? Well, some making amends energy, some apologetic energy, Venus energy, Aquarius energy. Interesting. So it can be that there was some discord here, connecting, of course, to the fifth chakra. And they're coming in here to make peace as well. So I like that. But what a random energy <laughs> to have come out. I want to remind you that this is a general reading. So it's not going to resonate for everyone. Always take what resonates for you and let the rest go. I would also really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video. And subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so very much. Let's see what else is going on here, Taurus. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what else Taurus needs to see or hear. Aho. The Seven of Cups and the Partnership Placement. So this is what they're making peace over. Look at that. Had some commitment issues here. We're stuck. In the Seven of Cups energy, Venus and Scorpio energy, and it came here also with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So the broken promises, this is clear. So they are very clearly coming in here with a plan <laughs> to make some kind of major offer. Again, it's it couldn't be any clearer, but obviously something happened to put you in no contact, no communication and or in separation. So here is... Part of that we're already seeing, this is a making amends energy. It's making peace. And it's coming here right in the partnership placement with the Seven of Cups, Venus and Scorpio energy of commitment issues and breaking promises around that. Knight of Cups in reverse, the Prince, Princess, Charming Energy card. Look where their energy is the strongest here. Today it's the Ten of Cups, Mars and Pisces energy. So... Had you already built a life together? Were you building it? Was it on the table? This can also include blending families or expanding your family, for example, maybe even somewhere back earlier in the, the beginning of introducing families. Whatever the case is, it's definitely back on the table. And it's really very clearly coming in here with the energy that we have seen thus far. Also, okay, that's far too many. Also, the Ace of Cups. The Eight of Cups in reverse. The Empress in reverse. The Spirit of Pentacles. That's the Queen of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands. Interesting. So where are you at with this? Because, well, it's like a protection. Look, here in kind of like in a, like a, you could say a cave in the water. Look, looking here out at the shark, somebody has their little spear here to protect themselves. Broken promise energy and the tower energy in reverse. So this was definitely around some commitment issues with your person, which is totally changing here. The Queen of Pentacles is like the apprentice to the Empress for me, okay? And she's here in reverse with the broken promises. So this is like, yeah, limited resources. Like things were not able to move. This Your person was 
I feel emotionally not available. They weren't being honest about something also maybe just around what they wanted because the commitment issues are really, really strong here. And we see this Eight of Cups in reverse and this is coming back in. Saturn and Pisces energy. So they've, they've learned some kind of lesson here. And not only are they making amends, we saw very clearly what they're coming in to do, whether it's in person or via message. For a lot of you, I know it's in person, but there is some long distance energy here too. So the making peace energy is really strong, but they also have you on their mind, commitment on their mind. They love you. And there is some kind of decision coming out of here because also here with their return and the apology, you could say, yeah, humil humility, a lot of humility I'm hearing, is the Ace of Cubs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and this is some type of proposal energy. There's a making peace energy here. Again, it's a validation with our love, lovey dove. <laughs> Doves, they come in pairs, and that is a making peace energy here, and we also see that in the Five of Swords. And it's connected to that Seven of Cups energy, some commitment issues, maybe too many choices, whatever that is. This is definitely an apology and they're definitely coming in here with that, having learned their lesson. Also, again, communicating regarding the broken promises here, why things weren't moving. Taurus, this is your energy. It's also Libra energy and Venus energy, divine feminine energy. And it's telling me that they weren't being honest Maybe about where they were, there was something else that was going on here, I'm wondering. Because choices, commitment issues here, they're coming back in here. They're addressing this. And they're wanting, they're wanting to make some kind of offer here. But it's clear that they weren't being honest with you. I feel like they weren't being emotionally available and open. And that's so interesting, what they're coming in here with. Also, the Queen of Pentacles is like the protege for me of the Empress, so she can make things work that were not working, matters of the heart, new beginnings, this little bunny here, lots of healing energy coming in, Capricorn and Saturn energy, definitely needed connected to the tower in reverse, so some ego here for sure. So this is around some commitment issues for sure, whether other people are involved or not, they definitely hurt you and we're not really emotionally very giving, I feel. And it's also why the Seven of Wands is here, <laughs> right in between their energy of the Ten of Cups of coming in here for another chance, a new cycle. That's quite literally a new cycle. The end of a cycle, a new beginning. The Ace of Wands is back. Yeah. It could be that it's coming in quite fast. The Knight of Swords has a lot to say. A lot of hopeful rainbow energy there. I like that. There is like kind of like a, the victory flag. Knight of Swords, Libra and Mercury energy has, yeah, so much to say that it's going to change everything. And that Ace of Wands energy coming back, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius energy, a validation of, of exactly what they're doing here. It's connecting to the Ten of Cups. So there's a little bit of defensive energy here with you. Understandably, we also have the Ace of Swords coming here in reverse. So it's, it's yeah, it's a bad decision. It's not being honest. And it's connecting right here with the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Cups in the upright. This is what they want to talk about. This is, these are, I want to say it's what they're making amends around. It's a strong energy of whatever was going on here. The Four of Cups and the Five of Wands. What they're wanting to do and some of the obstacles that have been around that for them. But we saw with all that major arcana energy coming in to your reading that they are ultimately overcoming that can literally just be around their own commitment issues and ego here. Four of Cups, Moon and Cancer energy coming here to communicate, open up. Out of the blue, it might surprise you. For some of you, again, it really can be that it's at an event that you know about or that you don't know that they're going to be there. But for those of you that can't come together in person, the communication is here. You know, of course, it's the Four of Cups. And 
bringing in holding that cup in those three cups of, of waiting, that's the Mercury and Cancer energy for communication. The Emperor in reverse. So there's the ego. Yeah. And this is coming out of that. So they're coming in, I feel, in a, a much higher self energy than they have been, for sure. There's a lot of humility coming through here today. This Emperor, Aries energy, Mars energy is in reverse. So yeah, an overabundance of divine masculine energy. This lion here holding on to the yank. That's divine feminine and divine masculine energy, yin yang energy, and it's in reverse. And it's the lack of balance. It's being in shadow, being an ego. So having made some bad decisions, having hurt you for sure, whether this is around the fact that they were withdrawing or ghosting, again, or just around some commitment issues, and it can even be those commitment issues include something else too, like other things that they are having a hard time deciding between, whether it's romance, things that, you know, like locations, jobs, that sort of thing, whatever the case is, they have been in shadow and they have been in ego. And this is them coming out of it in the tower in reverse. Yeah, look, it's connecting here to the Five of Swords in reverse. So whatever was going on there, because that is a making peace energy. And, of course, you can see the making peace literally here with the dove in the cup. So is this, this, I would, this is a strong energy of an apology. And I was about to say, is this an apology only? And I was stopped because, no, it's not. There's something a lot more going on here. We saw that already. The two of wands coming here in reverse. So some, some travel issues. And now the lovers came back and it's in reverse. So that's regret. Look, regret for letting you go. Their ego got in the way. I don't know if they, what it was, you know, if there was something else romantically or what that stopped things moving. They weren't being honest with you. Lovers in reverse. Again, Gemini, Venus energy. It's the breakup energy here. You know, it's the separation energy. And it can be that there is some arguing and some discord that came through pretty strong. Whether that led to it or that was during it, whatever the case is, they totally regret things that they said. They regret, I, I feel they regret, I don't know if it was ending it or, or walking away from it. Because we saw them coming in with the lover's card. In fact, Pretty sure that was the first energy it was coming in with the Four of Wands, with the reunion energy. So they're coming in here with humility and regret and apologies and an offer. This is really clear. So this tower energy, was there a tower moment for some of you? Definitely there could have been. This is also around their ego. So yeah, it could have been around that, but that's why. But this is also connected to, to not being honest. And by the way, just a little side note. If there is some kind of connection to the Ace of Cups here in terms of, was this here and did it move? I was, I was hearing that, but I guess it's staying here. To expanding your family, you could say, including, let's say, additions to family or next levels in your relationship. That's also connected here with the tower energy here of maybe something that they were afraid of, that it would change everything or change their life. And it really does align so much with your reading today in terms of the commitment issues. So whether that's just fear of commitment and being in a relationship or it's just something way farther past it, getting deeper in, that's what it feels like, expanding, adding to a family like something, a bigger commitment that they were afraid of or not ready for or not able to decide between whatever. They definitely regretted here. They were for sure in their ego and shadow self. And we saw them coming in with that lover's card. Three of cups. Ace, uh, excuse me, action of pentacles in reverse. That's the knight of pentacles in reverse. The five of pentacles in reverse. 
Yeah, so this is the thing. It's coming here with the Three of Cups. So this is the communication. Again, strong validation when the lovers came in with the Four of Wands. For those of you that can see each other, you're probably going to see them if you haven't already. At an event, celebratory event, could be anything really. Barbecue, wedding, reunion, whatever the case is. Now, if that's not possible, there, this communication is still here. In fact, it's a strong validation. Mercury and Cancer energy. It is a reunion energy. Soul connection, divine timing, divine number, communication, and that Mercury energy, the planet of the mind, the planet of communication, is oftentimes connected to reading and writing. So it can be, if it's not possible to see your person, that it's coming in via, how do you normally communicate? Social media, email, SMS. It's often around how you're communicating here. So what are they communicating? Well, you see the five of pentacles here coming in reverse. So this is like, this is them coming back in. And it's around this knight of pentacles in reversal energy, which is what? Which is somebody who was not in the commitment, who was afraid of either where you were, where you were going, or, or what was where you were, what was on the table, you know? So that's, sounds like this conversation could get, I don't feel like there's going to be any arguing anymore, for sure, because it's just not the energy that I'm feeling here. But I feel like it could go on. That's the energy I'm feeling, like a lot, a lot of talking going on here. There are definitely, and that's, <laughs> that, of course, that's the Knight of Swords energy. And this Three of Cups energy is wanting to be your overall energy today. This is hanging off, so I have to look at it. It's the Five of Cups in reverse. Yep, there's that of humility in the apologetic energy, actually. It's here for sure. Five of Cups, Mars and Scorpio energy in this reversal energy. They're, they're literally asking you, and we saw that in the full energy too, can we move past all this? And the Magician, can we, can we get past this? Is this... I want to fix this. I want more than fixing this. This, you know, this is like they're coming in here. But they're really, they're practically begging for forgiveness, I feel. Yeah, so there's the Knight of Wands, and they're coming in here, look, with judgment. There's the wake-up energy, Archangel Gabriel. Your person from the past here coming in. Reconciliation. At strong validation here, too, of asking for forgiveness, practically begging for forgiveness. Archangel Gabriel saying, you know, get some clarity. This is like make a final decision. Wake up. What the heck do you want? So they're getting clear and honest with themselves, which I don't feel like they have been completely. They are now, and this is getting clear and honest, and it's coming in and being clear and honest with you. And it's coming in here with the Knight of Wands, this energy of just, here they come. I mean, look at the energy here too with the hope with the rainbow you can see here that they're on this horse which of course can push through obstacles it's a very fast energy and there's also a lot of humility here a lot of humility here in that knight of wands and they're they're coming in here and they're coming in here not only to apologize but we we know to come, they want to come back together. This is somebody who wants to work this out, whatever that's going to mean for you. And for some of you, again, it really is, it's strong that it's coming here in person. This is the awakening energy. It's the two of you and it's balance. It's renewal. And it's making a final decision, which is also for you, of course. You're both here. So you could be having this conversation at an event around other people, that Four of Wands, the Three of Cups. Or it could be coming in via SMS, social media, or do you normally, the Sun and Temperance, or do you normally connect the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Swords in reverse? Or are you normally connecting through phone calls, that sort of thing? So the Wheel of Fortune is back. Temperance is here. The Sun is here and the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is strong validation of the apologetic energy sun sun and gemini energy and here is the sun this is a really particularly emotional horse look there's the sand castle it's your journey this is a new the end of the cycle that you've been in a completion and this is the renewal it's reaching a really happy outcome here with the ton of cups we saw the lovers coming in of course the wheel of fortune and it's back 
Archangel Michael is also here. Temperance, wanting to work things out. Literally restore balance, harmony, a fast energy. Get everybody on the path to the truth, which is here in the sun energy. For the highest good of everybody involved. A turning point, strong, strong, strong validation here. With the Wheel of Fortune coming back. Fate and destiny. Coming into your destiny has been really very clear from the beginning. A new start. Hearing from your person, whether you're it's in person or there's some kind of phone call or message coming in. Coming out of their shadow self, their ego. Coming here. I love this with the support of Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Michael, and Archangel Raphael, who was here twice and the second time coming back, letting us know that how much regret that they have. Connecting right to the tower in reverse. An angel, a feather, excuse me, a feather is here, an angel is near. It's fast energy. It's Sagittarius energy, of course. This comes to a five, and it is about change. Connecting also to the fifth chakra, and we know that there is some type of communication coming here. I want to bring in some Oracle. We're always shuffled, but I want to move the energy some more. Actually, I'm just feeling like I really want to get a good... There we go. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse at the moment. I just have not been feeling it. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what Taurus needs to see. Aho. It's the hope. It's a really hopeful energy here in that Four of Cups, what they're hoping for as well. For this new direction look. And here's the sun again. So here's the sun again. Coming down here twice, of course, this deducing into a, a one, the new beginnings. We know the sun coming up, vitality and life force and illumination and growth and warmth and new day. Telling us that there's a lot of potential here, which we also know and a strong validation with the magician coming in earlier. But they're also deducing into a one and that's giving us an 11 here and that's a master number and that's new beginnings. And that's really not a surprise at all of, as we see what's been coming in here in your reading today. That's it. Held. Rise. Rising above conflicting energy, obstacles, rising above ego, big time. There's a strong humility coming in with this energy for me. It's connecting also with the regret. Yeah, it's the bound energy. Connecting here with the Ace of Wands. We know they're getting literally inspired and... Hello, the camera makes me crazy. <laughs> I'm not sure when it ended, but I was just talking about the bound energy of how they are breaking out of that, literally this inspiring energy and just coming here and turning this over, the humility energy, which has been really, really strong in your reading. A validation in the Ten of Swords in reverse, the really everywhere here, and that's the apologetic energy. Look, and it's coming here kind of over coming this five of wands energy interesting the dreamer that's coming in also with the magician that we saw coming in taking that inspired action look rising above indecision doubt seeing things from a whole new perspective clear making wishes coming true wish fulfillment Nine of Cups energy, Jupiter and Pisces energy. But this is also you are my biggest wish energy. Look at awakening. Look at the energy here of the Knight of Swords with the wish and the awakening. They're all really aligning together. What do you want? What's your biggest wish? Taurus. 
There's the inspiration energy. A lot of commitment energy here too. The commitment energy, the earth energy, the grounding, the roots. There's four of them. Four areas of support and stability, you know, rooting them in. And you can't put up those supports around the foundation when it's been, when something's gone on with that. But you also need this with the foundation to rebuild things here. Union. Yeah, right here in between the Knight of Wands and Judgment. Strong reunion energy. Three of Cups, Four of Wands, Lovers, Judgment, Guarded. Interesting. Is this your energy? I think it might be. That came through actually quite strong. Not wanting to be hurt again. Intuition and Earth Mother. Yeah, wow. So that's also connecting with that's the Empress energy, which is in reverse here, so it's uprighting it. This intuitive energy as well as your person coming in here, knowing that they need to come and be honest. And they're also coming in here in a really emotionally open way. This is, of course, connecting with you, Taurus. It's bringing in the Empress energy, also Libra, Venus energy, Divine Feminine energy, can create and grow just about anything, abundance, new beginnings. For some of you, there may have been, there may already be some family connections. That's been coming through really strong with the Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Wands. But I know that's not for everybody. Either way, whatever was going around that, also with that Ace of Cups energy of the connection, whether it was building or continuing to build a family, blend a family, introducing families, it's strong that it's time. It's divine timing. Communication, there is the prosperous pomegranate. All the elements, of course, water, air, earth, and fire. Yeah, wanting to restart this here. And this intuitive energy for you, look guarded in intuition. This is also a really healing energy. So getting clear about what it is that you're wanting because they're not only coming in here with an apology. It's a lot more. Channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. That's a lot, a lot to say. I stare into your eyes in photos. It's Page of Swords energy. Thinking of you brings me peace. I don't know how to fix this. Our love is eternal. these came together. I spy on you. So there's a strong page of swords energy here today. I'm sorry I hurt you. Ten of swords in reverse. You are my other half. A lover's card came in earlier on with the four of wands. It's here again with the regret. Soulmate energy. Twin flame energy, if you're on a twin flame journey, we have a deep soul connection, yeah. I love you to infinity. Archangel Gabriel, what do you want? Taurus, my biggest wish, I love you to infinity. You are my soulmate. Yeah, it's not lost on me that we have both the Emperor and the Empress, your energy, Taurus, here today, in fact, twice. Yeah, the Emperor and the Empress, the counterpart, the other half, soulmate energy. Are you thinking of me too? Your last channel love message, message from their higher self, Taurus. We are one. And it was here just waiting 
for the last, you know, to be read last here with the union card. So whether this is in person or this is via message, they're definitely moving forward here with this apology and a lot more in their mind. Beautiful Taurus, that's your reading today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Thank you so very much. I'm sending you love and light, hoping for the best outcome for you, and looking forward to seeing you at another love reading. Until then, bye Taurus.